Well, under a full moon, Shakespeare's Hamlet is from the play Within a Play, Act 2, Scene 2, Hamlet speaking. I heard the speaking a speech once, but it was never acted, or if it was, not above once. For the play, I remember, please not the million. Twas caviar to the general. But it was as I received it and others whose judgments in such matters cried in the top of mine. An excellent play. Well digested the scenes, set down with as much modesty as cunning. I remember one said there were no salads in the lines to make the matter savory, nor no matter in the phrase that might indict the author of affectation, but called it an honest method as wholesome as sweet, and by very much more handsome than fine. One speech in it I chiefly loved. Twas Aeneas's tale to Dido. They're about of it, especially when he speaks of Priam's slaughter. If it live in your memory, begin at this line. Let me see, let me see. The rugged Pyrrhus, like the Hyrcanian beast. Tis not so, it begins with Pyrrhus. The rugged Pyrrhus. He whose sable arms, black as his purpose, did the knight resemble when he lay couched in the ominous horse. Hath now this dread and black complexion smeared with heraldry more dismal. Head to foot, now is he total gules horribly tricked with blood of fathers, mothers, daughters, sons, baked and impasted it with the parching streets that lend a tyrannous and damned light to the Lord's murder, roasted in wrath and fire, and thus oversized with coagulate gore, with eyes like carbuncles, the hellish Pyrrhus, old grandsire Priam seeks. A bit and a piece from the Hamlet.